Good morning, everybody. Chuck here with no time to be sad. Today, uh, today we're gonna take a break. Gonna get away for a while. Me and Paige have been, hey, we've been sitting home for a couple of weeks. Not much changes in rural Thailand. Like things like exactly stay the same. <laughs> so we, uh, we're gonna go to our next favorite place next to Nakompano. We're gonna go to we're gonna go to Udon. Udon, it's about four hour drive from here. It's a, a place we've taken you guys to many times before. We're actually gonna be staying at the same place we did with the group. We've, uh, we've been on the road quite a bit with our friends and subscribers and it gets a little tiring after a while. So gonna take a break <laughs> from the holidays. You know what I mean? So. Uh, it's just gonna be me and Paige, gonna relax. You know, maybe sit by the pool, enjoy the warm sun. I don't think that's gonna happen, but it's gonna be, a, it's gonna be fun just for me and Paige. We uh, hopefully can get some dry weather. We can go walk around uh, to UD town and uh, yeah, just do some fun things in that area. We'll see what happens, but anyway, we, uh, we're just gonna go spend four nights there, take a break. Get away from Top Phnom before our next adventure. Our next adventure is gonna be with the ladies. My mother-in-law is actually gonna see her sister that she hasn't seen in three years because of the uh, situation. <laughs> so uh, I'm glad that families can start getting back together, you know. So uh, we're gonna be going to Karat, and then uh, I'll tell you guys where we're headed after that. So yeah, gonna enjoy my coffee, enjoy the beautiful rain, pack, finish packing, and then, uh, and then we're gonna go.
mom was sending me pictures of three wheelers. Like, you guys got those? I always try to show her in the videos. Maybe she forgets. <laughs> Maybe she doesn't care, care that much. And I don't know. Maybe it's like me. She doesn't really think too much. But anyway, they have them everywhere. And I'm going to get her. I've already got some plans to modify it. Not to make it go faster. Make it go fast enough. But, um make an extended battery life and maybe some neon lights look like a we uh gas diesel diesel only went up like two baht per liter yeah. they're still keeping it down so it's yeah. like 32 32 something mm -hmm. i don't know it ain't much mm -hmm. gas is crazy though high yeah. mm -hmm. i gotta like look, i don't remember pay, yeah. premium diesel is expensive right yeah. mm -hmm. i think it was like 42 or something yeah but joe yeah <laughs> Okay. Joe needs Gucci fuel <laughs> yeah, <I know. laughs> for his vehicle. Mm -hmm. okay. so, anyway, whatever. <laughs> I use my American credit card, so get okay. Cop. And the exchange rate's good right now. <laughs> Fifteen hundred baht. Yeah. I had just under a quarter tank, so that's forty-five dollars to put. I don't know three-quarter tank of fuel. I don't know how many liters this thing holds, but I usually get like five six hundred kilometers every like 45 dollars something like that i know that this is the road going to sekonakon we went through it in Nakia. man they got a lot of construction this at least the road now is concrete so it ought to last them a long time but a lot of construction still going on. I was thinking about riding my bike to Sekunda Cone on a trip, but no, definitely 100% no, the road is dangerous. In Thailand, you really need to have an SUV or a pickup truck. The ideal thing to have in Thailand, as for a foreigner, I think, is an SUV because you can carry your stuff in the back. For Thai people or, you know, if you live on a farm or something, of course a truck, I think, because you can haul stuff around, but definitely a car is good if you're gonna stay in Bangkok, but it's not that much difficult to uh, to drive around in an SUV or something in a, in a big city. Most of the time, you're not gonna, you're gonna take public transportation anyway, but my suggestion is always, I've been a mechanic most of my life, so I know Toyota's, Toyota's, a lot of vehicles, especially like Ford, a lot of things are designed on the vehicles to not last, okay? So you're gonna have to, you know, continue the cycle to make money. But with Toyota, they're not like that. Like a lot of things are built pretty basic and uh, a lot of, really not a lot of maintenance on a Toyota, but there's Toyota dealerships everywhere in Thailand. A lot of parts are cheap here because there's so many, so many Toyotas. I recommend a Toyota, but hey, if you want to get a Mitsubishi, get one. <laughs> Safety first. <laughs> He's got a mask on his face and one on his chest, just in case he wears out the one on his face. Mm. You want a flower? Pizza. I know the pizza company is actually <laughs> not too bad here. The sauce is a little sweet, but it's Thailand. They like it. Not only is it sweet, but they like to put ketchup on it. Pizza. So it's kind of good. that's like chick chicka boom. I like the look of that little hot oh. wing right there. It says chicka boom. Uh, I don't know if it's a hot wing or not. It's got a like a grenade a grenade underneath it. Maybe that's what happens after you eat it. <laughs> We are about an hour away, about 77 kilometers. know what they're gonna do so just always gotta be prepared, 
prepared on the guard for these guys here. You don't know if they're drunk. You don't know what he's doing. I don't think he knows what he's doing. Pretty soon he'll be in the middle of the road like he was a minute ago. You gotta watch out for these people here. Like they have no idea what the hell's going on. I don't know what's going on. I'm just as confused right now. I don't think there's one time I've ever got in this vehicle and not avoided an accident. I didn't have my camera on. Of course I got this one on, but <laughs> I don't feel like getting a card out of it. This guy just comes right in front of me in a motorbike. I don't know. That's why a lot of people motorbikes die in Thailand, because they don't they don't pay attention. They're in their own world. And you really, really gotta watch out for everybody. Like it's you just can't be a, behind the wheel kind of relaxed. You gotta look at all the motorbikes because a lot of them don't have mirrors. If they do, they probably don't even look. And they just they just go. When they're ready to turn, they just go. And if you hit them, <laughs> it's your fault. So, I don't know. Be real careful when driving in Thailand. What town is this? This is a busy, it has like the worst stoplights too. It's got two really long stoplights back to back. Very busy, uh, very, I always forget the name of this place. Busy town. <laughs> what are you eating? Japanese. Bitty, bitey, bite. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it reminds me of those. What are those puff cereal? Um, sugar pop? No, I don't know. Something puff thing. It's a honey flavor. Pretty good. Pretty good. Well, we are in the big town of Udon. Udon Thani. At least it's, it's dry here, huh? Don't pull out in front of me. <laughs> Crazy people everywhere. are back here at the Penarai Hotel. Pretty nice place. Kind of in a busy, busy part of town, but a uh, good location. Good swimming pool too. I'm laughing because there's a case of water out here. I was like, is that ours? She's like, no, it's not ours. <laughs> 
This is our room. It was under a thousand, huh? About thirty dollars a night. This is our home for the next four nights. Comfortable bed, good air condition. This place is kind of noisy at night, but what I liked about this is they had. Oh, this one doesn't have it. Never mind. <laughs> the other one had two glass doors. <laughs> Maybe I'm thinking of somewhere else. Maybe it's on no, the other side. The other side. It's we more stayed noisy. on the, we stayed on the other side last time. We got pool view today. Centaur. There's a Centaur. Centaur was a little expensive, a little pricey. Yeah, it's Seventeen a I don't know why. It's almost twice as much. The Centaur. What are you talking yeah. About? But it's a nice hotel also. To me, they're both okay. They're both the same. Except that one's in the mall. I wish they had a gate like right there, you know, like you just walk right there. <laughs> mm -hmm. But they don't. Comfortable bed. We're gonna go for a walk since we didn't get a chance to walk this morning. We're just gonna walk to the mall. I don't think I'm gonna drag the whole video out showing you the whole mall. I'm sure we'll go back. I know a lot of you like to see the shopping stuff. I was trying something new with my camera on my dash and I didn't get a lot of the sound for a couple of, uh, it's just me, blah, blah, blah. And anyway, I'm sure you guys didn't miss much. We're right next to, uh, what is it, Nutty Park, which is just on the other side over. Is it over there? Oh yeah. I don't know. It's somewhere. I have a lot of uh, subscribers that live out here. A lot of expats live here. Usually I try to come meet a few of them at the full throttle bar. Because that's where you go full throttle. We could have took the bus. That says uh, Nakom Panom right there. Udon, uh, Udon Tani and Nakompanom, Central Plaza. We're pretty hungry. I can't see us going through this mall without at least getting a snack, but we we're going to wait and have an early dinner tonight. Mm -hmm. Of course, we walked right into the food court. <laughs> smells pretty good. In this mall is one of the biggest tops I've seen. Uh, top supermarket. They have a lot of foreigner goods here. A lot less expensive than Villa, but Villa is all exported goods. Well, most of it. The one smells good. Very large. Very large mall gift got lost here the other time last time mm -hmm. that's pretty cool huh smart bike doo doo coffee they should have the cup like right down below his bottom you know mm -hmm. i'm not let's see how much this stuff is here. It's the same price, but I don't know if it's the... Uh, huh? I'm not interested in it though, because... No, it's uh, the hot coffee is 170 Oh, that's pretty dumb. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they keep that thing in a cage, feed it nothing but those uh, coffee beans and it poops out that and then you drink it. That sounds like uh, something I'll never do. smell his food. It's a good place to get a massage here. Barbecue Plaza. You want a barbecue plaza? No, 
That is a gigantic Mr. Donut store. For Thailand, or for here. We've eaten there one time, it wasn't that good. This one. Let's go in here and I'm gonna buy me a mouse. They sell them here, right? My mouse is not working very well. They must have a theft problem there. All the, everything's out in the open except the mouse. The, <laughs> I didn't feel like calling anybody over there to get it. There's plenty of other places in the mall. Hey, Toys R Us. We're not going there. Yeah, chicka boom. We're probably, we were going to wait and eat it for, I don't think we're going to make it. Well, we just go to office, mate. I see him hanging up right here on the wall. Hey, I want to sit in one of these chairs. Mm -hmm. Yeah, never mind. Mine's good enough. Mm -hmm. I don't need another chair. I just put new wheels on mine. I'm going to look around a little bit. I'm just going to get this. It's a... I'd like to get a wireless one, but they don't last. I've had many, 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 many of them. Punch in and out. <laughs> You're on the clock, baby. Let's go check out these chairs. same pretty much the same as what I got as far as comfort they look cool though not for a hundred dollars Paige is hangry this is Paige's hangry face well half of her face mm -hmm. so we come back over here so we can relax get a beer and get some food so we had to bail out of the mall <laughs> okay, let's get some pork stew and mashed potatoes. How about that? <laughs> what do you have now? Well, we got the special, the $1.99 bot slow cooked pork stew. Looks pretty good. Never ever let a Thai woman go hungry. Or candy. <laughs> or candy carry candy bars around it's good but of course it's kind of plain because we're used to eating spicy <laughs> but uh I think the food here is more like English European type of course I like that one over there too the English what is it, the Irish clock is pretty good well, that was good. You actually, you got to look at the ticket because here they charge you VA tax. And the service tips are included in the, in the bill. So that's usually, they don't do that normally in restaurants, charge VAT. Well, not in a hotel. Yeah. <laughs> we are just going to go walk around a little bit tonight. We're not hungry. Maybe a snack for later on tonight. I'm going to meet some subscribers. I just met some random guy who's actually not a subscriber. He never watched my channel, but he saw the Bass Pro Shop and goes, are you from Texas? I said, yeah. I said, Houston. He goes, that's where I'm from. He lived in the Heights. That's why they wanted me to sit and have beer with him. But I, I try not to do that with Paige too much because she gets annoyed. Because you know it's always same type of conversations over and over again and I can't enjoy the conversation because I know she's not entertained so, but we talked to uh, Kevin and Pookie we're gonna eat some uh, 
Indian food with them maybe tomorrow. They're both YouTubers. No, they're not going to hang out with us the trip. That smells really good. Guy taught hot guy. Mm. I think last time we came here was during this crazy times too, but we came through here one time and this place is just full of vendors. Uh, a lot of people. But this is what it looks like today. But there was always a cool looking reggae shop back here. Guy had a bunch of strange things. I don't know if he's still here. No, I think this was it right here. But uh, yeah, it looks like it's gone. Let's go this way. We're just wandering around. What else are we gonna do? This is what this whole trip is gonna be. Me and Paige wandering around. Come on, Paige. Wandering around Udon. You guys okay with that? Are you are you okay with that? Okay. Very big market. This is next to the UD town, which is over there. But huge markets here. Really a lot of markets all over Udon. Awesome food everywhere. Always awesome food, but I'm still full. Have some cold french fries. This is similar to Udon, where we just came from, but it looks like a lot more kind of cleaner, more organized uh, section here. I know there's another section just like this over in UD Town that has uh, live music before. I don't know about now, but uh, yeah. This one's better because it has Leo. That looks pretty good too. <laughs> no ice cream with a show. I'm sure there's some somewhere around here. This kind of reminds me of uh, like Vietnam a little bit. Yeah. A lot of chicken everywhere. I like chicken. More stores. Okay. I think the last time we came here, you weren't allowed to drink beer. In Udon? I remember we had to drink it in a cup. Somewhere. I don't know. Whatever. That's over now, though. For now. Yeah, and now it's not a problem right now. Guys, I'm just going to end the video right here. We'll bring you back to this market another time during our stay. I promise. And uh, check it out. Maybe do a live stream. I'm sure it'll be way before this video comes out, though. But anyway, thanks for coming with us to Udon. We'll see you guys on tomorrow's Udon adventure. Bye. Bye. You hungry yet? Not yet. Okay. You want beer? Yeah. <laughs> okay, let's go. Let's go to this little Pegasus bar here and get a couple beers. How about that? That looks kind of safe. I think it's just a lady boy there at the table. <laughs>